afternoon, Jason Phillips from Ottawa Braze. Inspection on a 1971 Cutlass 350S convertible today down near Detroit, Michigan. We'll go through the car real quick and then take it out on a test ride. I'm not allowed to drive it myself today. Woohoo! Uh, firewall's in good shape. A little bit of old bleed from that um, uh, master cylinder on that power brake booster. That could be cleaned up some. Engine paint's in real nice shape. A little bit of burn off on the intake, but not too much to be concerned about. Period correct. Uh, battery, period correct cables. Trim tag is in place. Antifreeze was good and green and oil was clean and full. Air conditioning uh, kicks on although it's only about 33 degrees out today so it felt cold but the compressor turns. That hood pad uh, that's a little warbled up. It could stand to be changed. The car has an inside hood release feature and uh, it's not hooked up. The trim has survived well. The grill has a little bit of superficial wear that's been painted around and cleaned up over, but no broken teeth or anything like that. Those bumpers were likely replated because they uh, they look very good. They fit the body nicely. This is a silver, kind of a silvery blue uh, metallic. And uh, when you stand way back, you can see just a little bit of modeling in the paint. Nothing really too disconcerting. The reflective quality is pretty nice. You can read uh, bold print from 8 or 10 inches away. All the trim on the car is original. A little bit of patina on these upper fender moldings. A little bit of patina showing on this uh, door handle, which is pitting a little bit. Uh, these door belt moldings were pulled. These, I don't believe, were. A little bit of overspray on the other side. There's a few small chips along the hood and on the leading uh, back edge of the door, rather. The wheels were sanded down and painted. Three of those four wheel trim rings have uh, some curb scuffing noted. The trunk looks nice. Jacking instructions and stickers all put back in. We got an aqua style re-splatter paint that's nice, spare and jack present that match. I pulled up the mat and it looks, uh, looks solid under there. Trunk light works. Seal's been changed. Front suspension's all stock except for some tubular upper control arms. Tie rod ends and sleeves have all been painted. Bushings are appear to you know appear to be in good shape. Front end sits nice. No real issues. No uh, tie rod ends are all in good shape. That 10 bolt has uh, been out of the car and been serviced. Lower control arm bushings look newer. Shocks are new. Um, those are non-boxed lower control arms. Uh, there's no active leaks seen beneath the car. Underside the gas tank's been out and the floors all throughout the car pretty much look like this. Just a light scale and pitting but no, uh, no major issues seen. Didn't see any bends in the frame rail ends, spring pockets or otherwise. Car's got dual exhaust flow masters. H-pipe right there you can see there's a shot of the floors again just kind of uh, a little scaly but not not deteriorated really in any heavy fashion not if you're from Michigan you kind of like that there's a Muncie 3925661 uh, tranny case uh, we can't really see that it's pretty clean tranny has the fill and the drain plug so we know it's a later case uh, the door skin lips are in nice shape they're clean the plastic chrome's a little worn on the armrest. Got a crack right here. And uh, the cards have a little bit of buckling or warpage in them, so they're probably original. Plastic chrome is kind of faded here in spots. Power window switches all work. That back rear glass is a little bit slower than the rest of them, and we got some hairline uh, roller marks present in the uh, back light. The car's got awesome equipment though, uh, set up with factory tilt wheel, power windows, power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, factory uh, tack and gauges and the rally steering wheel. Originally MFM's not hooked up, that aftermarket CD player was nicely installed down there. And uh, the trim 
piece that's uh, missing there in the dash. You can see the little holes. It's in the back seat. Carpet's new, shifter boot is new. This convertible top is not too old. Uh, these pads though, I don't know if you can see that or not, these pads are pulled out, the staples are pulled out there, and uh, the motor works. I'm not gonna run it down all the way though for fear of those staples causing some issues. Uh, the original seats have been recovered with a non-OEM type of, uh, like a velour. Seats material's in good shape. This is a power bucket. You can hear the motor working, and when my big old butt's not in it, it moves a little bit. But it doesn't move so much when body weight is in it. So there you go. Got cutlass mats. The seat backs are pretty well survived with just a few minor scratches. But all in all, it's probably a really good low miles survivor. I ran across the body with magnets. I had them stuck down here earlier. And there's a little bit of filler in spots down low, but nothing to be too uh, concerned about. There was, we're talking inches, not feet. We're going to take it out for a ride here pretty quick. I'll fire it up so you can hear it. Cold starting temperature was about uh, 41 degrees on my, on my uh, gauge. good. Okay, I gotta go get the driver. Again, this power steering assist is uh, it's a little bit stiff. We'll see how that irons out as we get on the road. I stand corrected. This power steering feels fine moving it out of the uh, parking lot here. This was a little stiff. Getting her going. Okay, we're riding along. appears to be functioning. Yep. Turn signals are turning. Yep. And let's see, they shut off. Yes, they do. At least that side. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise wrapping up a test drive inspection on a 1971 Old Scotless convertible. 55,042 on the miles showing today down in Detroit, Michigan. Back the car out of the uh, stall uh, where it was sitting up there by the building and the clutch feels pretty good didn't feel like it was jumping at all brakes were applying nicely didn't really sense any issues and the car doesn't sound like a rattle box inside so far so good signal to the right for me. Swerve a little and then see if it'll cancel. That probably wasn't enough. We'll hit it on the way back. And we're on. Turn signal on. That's yeah. oh, a mean horn. seems to run good. Let's shut it off and restart it. Go ahead and fire it back up, would you? Well, pressure is finishing up. Oh, that flash is on. Hard to see it. Still holding up good there? Yep. Temp's still uh, hanging down low, too. 
seem to be overheating. We've had it running for about 15 minutes now. Oh, okay, right here. Mm -hmm. You can hear the top working both ways. And again, uh, we're not going to put it down right now until they address those uh, top pad staples. Car scores pretty well. Wrapping up a uh, pre-purchase inspection, Jason Phillips. I just got blasted by that service door. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise. 800-301-3886 if you need an inspection done on a car anywhere in the United States, 300 guys. I think whoever is ending up buying this car is going to be pretty happy with it. No real major uh, issues to discuss. But that'll be up for him to decide. That's what this video is all about. Have a good day.